So there was a reporter for one of the newspapers um, writing a story about umpires going to umpiring school. And he went down to this umpiring school and he said to the uh, first young umpire in the school that he found, what's it like to be an umpire? I mean, how do you train to make those kinds of snap calls and those kinds of instant decisions? It's safe or out. It's a ball or a strike. It's a foul ball. It's whatever it is, you know, and, and be right there and be present in that, to that moment the way umpires have to be. How do you do that? How do you train for something like that? And this kid, you know, he's a 23-year-old, 30-year-old kid, young, young guy, so he says, oh, it's really simple. When I'm calling balls and strikes, he says, it's, very, it's just a simple matter. If it's a ball, I call it a ball. If it's a strike, I call it a strike. And a, a little older guy came by, and he said, no, this other young kid, he's got it wrong. He said, he, he, it's not like that. And the, the reporter said, well, how is it? And the little older umpire said, well, it's, it's like this. He said, if it looks like a ball, I call it a ball. And if it looks like a strike, I call it a strike. I calls him as I sees him. And with that, the oldest umpire who runs the umpiring school, you know, 78-year-old guy, white hair, little black cigar, playing, you know, playing umpire, he says, he says well, well, what is it? How does it work? He says, they ain't nothing till I calls them. And that means that it's all here. It's all here in the eye of the ump. And they ain't nothing till he calls them. And, and umpires, uh, you know, will tell you how they do that. If they're really mad at a player, they'll call a strike a ball or a ball a strike and right down the middle. But if that pitcher makes him angry, he'll throw the next ball right down the middle and the umpire will say, umpire will say ball one. Yeah, make everybody furious. Because he called it the way he, the way he wanted it to be, not the way it is, and not even the way it looked, but the way he chose it to be. And they, and they come off the benches, you know, and the, and the managers start screaming, you know, you're blind, ump, you're blind. That was right down the middle of the plate. And he says, you want to see me call the next 15 pitches a ball? Get back to the dugout. I'm running the game here. They ain't nothing till I calls them. Well, I love the story because, number one, it's true. It's how baseball works. But number two, it's how life works. And I got that out in front of my fence tonight as I drove up to the house. It ain't nothing until I call it. And I'm making it all up. And that's a powerful thing to know. It's a powerful place to be. So that led me to thinking, I wonder what it would be like if I was aware of what I'm aware of now, the next 10 times I'm not feeling okay about something, about how someone has acted, what someone has done, what's happening in my life, what that last phone call was about, whatever I'm making a judgment about. How would it feel if I was aware in that moment, uh, what I'm aware of now, that I'm making it all up, that I'm calling a ball a strike and a strike a ball, and I'm just, I'm just calling it as I want it to be. And what would it be like if I called all the so-called bad stuff okay for the next 30 days? And that was another chance to make a little mini resolution, to call, to call all the bad stuff okay. I can't go as far as calling the bad stuff good. <laughs> I, can't, I can't, you know, flip it around quite that far, I mean, pretend that all the bad stuff is good stuff. Uh, because I still have some judgments around that. But I can call the bad stuff, if it's not good, at least it's okay. It's, it's what's going on. It's what's happening now. It's what is. And embrace it with something less than negativity. Embrace it with a sense of, my mouth almost wants to say royal acceptance, the way a bored king would do it. <laughs> just looking at how the subjects are behaving and just go, Okay, that's how it's going in the courtyard today. That's just what's happening. And let it be okay. As if we are the, the royalty uh, in our own kingdom. Because, of course, we are. And that's what's true. And the sooner we understand that, and the more profoundly we understand it, the more we see how much of our whole lives we control. Because if you will, if you will um, 
look at it carefully, what you will see is masters don't control the events of their lives. They control their reaction and their response to the events. That's what makes a master a master. Not that a master walks down the street and just pops everything into the room the way he wants it to be. But what a master does is that she looks at what's happening right in front of her face and calls it okay. And the real master goes further than I can go. The real master not only calls it okay, but calls it blessed and very good. And in so doing, subverts any negative influence that that event or moment might have sought to move into one's experience and changes one's notion about the experience. Now, what that does is two things. It sets up an entirely different experience of the moment, but it also sets up a frame of mind if one does it frequently, if it becomes habitual. It begins to set up a mental vibration, what I want to call a mind nuance, or in simple terms, a way of thinking. It begins to establish a way of thinking about things that not only affects our in-the-moment experience of what's going on in front of us, but begins to create an ongoing feedback from the universe that, it, that does, in fact, wind up producing specific results in our life. It does become a creative force in our on-the-ground reality. It, it becomes what Norman Vincent Peale called in his wonderful book from the 1940s, The Power of Positive Thinking. We're talking here about the power of positive thinking. And so that power creates our reality at two levels. It creates our experience of whatever is in front of us, and it begins in the long term to create, in fact, what's in front of us. Because like energy uh, attracts like energy. If you enjoy what you've just seen, consider making a donation so that you can have even greater access to more downloadable media and other content as well. Or visit our store and check out our calendar as well.